Confused about the cosmos? Can't tell a planet from a star? Then give us just five minutes and we'll show you what they are. Jack Horkheimer, Stargazer, tells you all about the night sky and the biggest show of all, the universe. And now, this week's episode. How to find the Gemini twins and their sensational siblings. Greetings, greetings, fellow stargazers. Right now, the constellation Gemini the Twins is at its best for viewing in early evening. And while most people have heard of the two brightest stars of Gemini, Pollux and Castor, not many people are aware that these twin brothers have a magnificent assortment of hidden siblings. Let me show you. Okay, we've got our skies there for the first two weeks of March, 8 to 9 p.m. your local time, facing due south. Where a third of the way up from the horizon, you will see the brightest star in the heavens, Sirius, which marks the eye of Orion's bigger dog. And just up to Sirius' right, the bright stars which mark Orion himself. But up much higher into Orion's left, you will encounter two more bright stars, which are named for the famous twin brothers in Greek mythology, Castor and Pollux. Pollux, the brighter of the two, is closer to the horizon. And if you look closely, has a slightly orangish tint to it. Castor, on the other hand, although a tiny bit dimmer, is white. Now, for over 2,000 years, these two stars were considered the patrons of sailors and seafaring peoples and have long been associated with the phenomenon called St. Elmo's Fire. But as ancient as these twin stars are, modern science has revealed that there is much more to them hidden from the naked eye. Indeed, upon closer examination, we find that the brighter twin Pollux is a humongous star much bigger than its brother, and is in fact almost 11 times the diameter of our own million mile wide sun. Dimmer Castor, however, is not to be outdone by his brother because he hides magnificent secrets. In fact, with telescopes and other instruments, Castor has revealed himself to be more than just one star. Indeed, way back during the time of the American Revolution, Astronomers discovered that when they looked at Castor through a telescope, it had a companion. Thus, Castor became the first true binary star ever discovered. But later, as telescopes improved and other astronomical instruments were invented, astronomers were astonished to find out that both Castor and his hidden brother each had a companion star, which made Castor a quadruple star. And then, surprise of surprises, several years later, two more smaller siblings were found, which gave Castor the distinction of being not just a quadruple star, but a sextuplet star. Three pairs of stars, all moving about each other in an extremely intricate and magnificent cosmic ballet, with four of the stars being bigger than our own sun. Wow! Whoever said appearances are deceiving wasn't just kidding. So go outside during the first two weeks of March, 8 to 9 p.m. Look due south, and after you've found the brightest star, Sirius, and above him all the bright stars of Orion, look above him, and you'll see the most famous twins in the cosmos, which modern science has revealed to be seven sensational siblings. Is this universe weird or what? I'm Jack Horkheimer, keep looking up. Make the Stars Your Own is available on DVD or VHS for $19.95. Thank <laughs> you.